Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker, a place for your inner nerd. I'm Bobby. And I'm Cubby. And this is episode number 77. This week we got some Marvel news. A little bit of Spider-Man news. And some Sin City news. Nah, let's just get into it. Yeah, let's do that. Hey guys, Nerd Locker got to host NAB again this year, which is why you might have noticed that Jazz and Brandon are missing. But uh, Bobby, didn't you just get back from there? I sure did. I've been having a lot of fun this week. We got to uh, interview a vendor, Holyfield, one of the producers from the Prometheus film. But most importantly, we've seen a lot of new technology unveiled for this year, and uh, it's been really fun. I'm jealous. You should be jealous, and you guys should be jealous too, but if you want to see some of that footage, it's going to be up on nerdlocker.com next week. And if you can't wait until next week, be sure to check out our coverage from last year, including an interview with Kevin Smith and James Cameron on nerdlocker.com. So this week, Nerd Locker unveiled a very exclusive interview with Joshua Budic. Let me tell you, I was super excited to do this interview. I've been a big fan of his for a long time, and we were lucky enough to unveil one of his newest prints, Brutally Cool, which is a compilation of all the major characters from the Tarantino movies. This is one of the coolest posters I've ever seen in my life. Very, very excited. So stop by his store so you can buy it. Or next week, starting Monday, we're going to start a giveaway running through Thursday where we're going to give away five copies of his limited edition print. <sighs> Unfortunately, none of us can get any of those. So this is depressing. So we got some amazing Spider-Man news for you this week. Spider, Spider-Man? Yeah, Spider-Man. Like plural? Yeah. Well, I thought we were talking about Amazing Spider-Man. No, no, I said, I specifically said Spider-Men. Like the crossover? Yeah, like the ultimate crossover. Basically, Bendis announced this week that there will be a crossover between Ultimate Comics Spider-Man and regular comics Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not excited about this at all. How are you not excited for that? This is the real first crossover between Ultimate Comics and regular Marvel. Yeah, but they don't need to do that. Why? Why? Aren't you Why? excited for Peter Parker to realize that his alternate self is dead? No, because I didn't want his alternate self to die. I still don't want to believe that he's... Like, I believe uh, well, he's dead, of course, but I don't want to. Aren't you excited for him to realize that there's a new Spider-Man and... No. No, man. Why not? C because the Ultimate Universe was specifically created to restart everything. Shut up, nerd! No. <sighs> what do you guys think about the news? Tell us in the comments below. So it seems like every week now we're getting new Marvel movie news, and this week is no exception. Not at all. We have a ton of news this week. First off, Iron Man 3, it's been confirmed it's actually going to be filming in China, um, kind of feeding those rumors that Ben Kingsley would be playing the Mandarin. I don't want to buy into it just yet, just because they haven't announced his role in particular. Um, he could be playing anyone, so let the speculation begin on that one. And we know three of the four upcoming Marvel movies, and stu uh, Marvel studio head uh, Kevin Feige gave us a little bit more insight into that mysterious fourth one, saying that it will not be Edgar Wright's uh, Ant-Man, and it will most, and it's led to speculation that it'll most likely be Guardians of the Galaxy or Doctor Strange. I am kind of bummed that it's not going to be Ant-Man because that movie's been promised for like the last like seven years. Like it was supposed to come out like five years ago, um, but. It's still cool that you know, Doctor Strange or Guardians of the Galaxy movie might be getting made because those are two crazy enough characters and, and like not well-known characters that they could totally blow up. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the coolest comic books I've ever read, especially the relaunch that they would base the movie off of. It's awesome. I feel like all three of those have been circulating so much, though, yeah, that that's true. there's a very good chance that Marvel will just completely shock us and throw out a name that nobody was expecting. I would love to see a Nova and or... A Dazzler movie. I think a Dazzler movie would work. That's just me though. Anyways, in other news, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Mark Ruffalo kind of pulled a little prank on people. I Maybe. Don't know. Maybe. Not sure. Uh, but Robert Downey Jr. at the press junket for Avengers uh, was kind of teasing that they were going to be um, filming another scene that night. And uh, Mark Ruffalo kind of chimed in on it too, confirmed it a little bit, saying he actually was delivered a costume to film later that night. And I don't know. I don't know if it's... For, for reals. Joss Whedon went in to say so much as, no, they, they're not <laughs> filming. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, his reasoning was that Mark Ruffalo can't dress up as the Hulk since he's CG. True. Which I don't know if it hurts or helps this little prank. Yeah, because I don't know. It could be, he could be Bruce Banner. He could be Bruce Banner. They could have brought him giant purple shorts that he just tore up. And he could have to hold them like yeah. with a, without a belt. That would be cool. That'd be funny to like have them sharing a drink with at the point. The reason that people are believing that this may be a little bit true is because yeah. Marvel, whenever they show films to preview audiences, they don't show the after the credits 
footage, so they're thinking that maybe they were filming that. I think they would probably have it already filmed. Yeah. Yeah, they might be doing a little teaser, a little thing here or there, maybe just having some fun. Or I don't know. Or maybe they were filming Avengers 2. All in one shot, in one night. Oh, man. Oof. What if it's just, Avengers 2 is just the Hulk and Iron Man getting drunk? I could watch that. I would watch that. Like The Hangover, but with the Hulk and the Iron Man. So for all you uh, Robert Kirkman fans out there, um, AMC has actually picked up another one of his works, Thief of Thieves, is coming to TV. The Image Comics title is basically about an uh, ex-thief that is now trying to walk the line of straight and narrow. Um, he's a having a little bit of a hard time because he does enjoy the thrill. So he, he tries to meet it halfway and, uh, and kind of steal from other thieves. Yeah, he, essentially the character is pretty much Robin Hood meets Danny Ocean. He, he steals from the rich, gives to the needy. Not necessarily needy, he just kind of gives it back. He just wants to steal it back. Um, it's, it's a very interesting story. It's very, very well thought out, but it's still really early in its stages. So to, to hear that it's announced is kind of shocking, but by the time it actually airs, we'll probably have a good couple story arcs. We'll be able to see how the story goes. So I I'm agree. It's, it's very different from anything that Robert Kirkman's ever done before, but it might be right for television. I think so. Uh, only time will tell. What do you guys think about the news? Tell us in the comments below. So it's official. Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For, will start production very soon. And Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller will be returning in association with the Weinstein Company again. They're saying that they're going to start additional casting next week um, because they're bringing most of the original cast back. But that begs the question, most of those characters in that first film are dead. So do you think this might be a prequel? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Hey guys, uh, this, these last few weeks I've had a little bit of free time on my hands, so I've decided to check out a certain website that uh, I've been meaning to check out for a while, codecademy.com. It teaches you a whole bunch of different things, and it's all for free. Uh, I've, I've learned how to do HTML, uh, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, and uh, some programming, and it's all for free. And the courses are really are easy and fun, and um, you know, there's a lot of jokes along the way. Um, so I would, I would check it out, codecademy.com. Hey, this is Haley with my pick of the week, and it is Love is a Four Letter Word by Jason Mraz, his new album that just came out this week, and I can't stop listening to this. It's such a good feeling album that it's really positive. I feel like if I have a bad day, this is what I'm going to put on. I think it's going to be the soundtrack to my summer, and if you're a fan of him, it should be the soundtrack to your summer as well. Go pick it up. Hey there, guys. Cubby here with my pick this week. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's on HBO Go right now. I let a friend borrow it, and I haven't been able to watch it in, a, in like a year. Got to watch it last night, Boogie Nights. It's the best movie, in my opinion, ever made. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson just does a wonderful job with this movie. It's uh, where Mark Wahlberg pretty much makes his huge like, impact as a starring, a leading actor, and he's amazing, and Burt Reynolds is amazing, and the whole cast is just fantastic. A lot of young A-list stars nowadays, so um, ch definitely check it out if you've never seen it, Boogie Nights. And if you have seen it, go watch it again, because it's awesome. And Dirk Diggler's in it. Hey nerds, Jim here with my pick of the week. It is going to be Bobcat Goldthway. You don't look the same either. I was flipping through the channels and came upon Showtime, and who do I see doing stand-up but Bobcat? I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of his stand-up back in the 80s. I couldn't stand the... It drove me nuts. But listening to his stand-up now, hilarious. He is brutally honest. He prefaces everything like true story and then he tells you these just weird weird things that happen to him that they couldn't be made up they're so true I really love his directing you can't really say dark comedy they're funny but they're really out in left field I can't wait to see God Bless America in the meantime check out his stand-up Bobcat Goldway all right guys that was episode 77 of Nerd Locker don't forget to like us on Facebook. Or follow us on Twitter. Or subscribe to our YouTube page. Plus, be sure to check out nerdlocker.com for all your nerdy news. I'm Cubby. And I'm Bobby. And you guys have a nerdy week. That was going to the one Dude, I don't know. Some stupid brain. I'm surprised. Yeah, me too. Um, anyway.